Hello everyone, good morning. Mateo, my name is Matteo Boffa and today I'm, I'm going to tell you the story of how I create a $10 million company from an idea. How I did it? Very, very simple. The idea was not mine. To give you the detail of this success story, I have to go back around 30 years. You can see on the left side of the screen the young Matteo. I was a very, very bad student, one of the worst of my class. I was struggling with um, languages, mathematics, science, and it was not really fitting with the other kids as well. At the age of 14, um, my parents kindly kicked me through work because, of course, I didn't have any chance to continue my study. In Switzerland, we have this path, which is called vocational path, and at the age of 14 years old, you start working. It's not child labeling. I'm telling you. So I worked for the, for the bank. Uh, I did my apprenticeship three years. And after that, at the age of 18, I did my uh, army service in Switzerland, which is still uh, mandatory. Uh, I didn't do only one year, but I decided to graduate in the army. And as well, I became an uh, infantry officer. I came back to, for, to work to the bank, and um, I, will, I was always passionate about marketing and communication, so I decided to do a night and weekend course in um, marketing and communication. After that, um, I decided to, to travel. Um, unfortunately, my mom was very sick, so this was not uh, possible for me before. And as well, just after my diploma, my mom of, uh, unfortunately died. So I took the occasion to take my saving and take the money that she left me to go and study English abroad. At that time, I was speaking Italian, which is my mother tongue, French, which I learned during the army, and I was missing English to be able to work and live abroad, which was always my dream. Thanks to this new language, I was able to find a job in Dubai. I came to Dubai uh, as an employee, I resigned after six months because I was not very satisfied with the job and I decided, okay, I'm going to be the greatest entrepreneur in the world and I opened my first company in six months. I lost all the money, the company got busted and I was very sad. Um, I opened another teeny tiny little company which was in the recycling business and after one year, luckily, I was able to sell it. With the money that I got, I decided to start investing in youth and investing in ideas which are sustainable or create a positive impact for the society and for the environment. Thanks to my short but very um, um, strong experience into the world of startup, I was called by university to make speeches and participate in startup competition. This is a younger me in 2019 um, being a judge in a startup competition at Amity University here in Dubai. At the moment, on the stage, a very young guy, 19 years old, crazy hair, came on stage, not with a pair of shoes, with one left shoe, this one here in the picture. Probably the most ugliest shoe that I ever saw in my life, I'm telling you, horrible. But I saw something under his curly hair, a bright mind, a visionary, somebody that uh, creates these shoes entirely from plastic bags and plastic bottles. So I said, there is something here. The guy didn't really have much of an idea of how to create a company, the business plan, financial plan, all these complex thing. But I said, this guy, he's a visionary, and I want to invest in him. So he ended up winning the competition. And um, I said, OK, let's meet tomorrow for a coffee, and let's talk. The morning after, I'm a very dramatic person. I take $10,000, I put it on the table, and I said, I want 49% of your company. Of course, for a young kid, 19 years old, $10,000 seems a lot. And that was my, my goal, to obtain as much as possible of his idea. Um, he accepted, we shake hands, uh, we made a gentleman agreement, and we started our company. In the next year, we create different prototype of these shoe that became from one shoe to a pair of shoe and was entirely made with uh, recycled plastic bags, recycled plastic bottles, recycled rubber, and um, as well vegan ink and vegan glue. We have been certified by, Pete, uh, by PETA, which is a very big organism for, uh, organism for veganism, 
and of course everything that we made it's uh, uh, of course made ethically uh, the previous speakers talked about uh, greenwashing is a very big problem, but thanks to technology, we can certify who made our shoes, who collect the plastic box, uh, bottles, and who collects the plastic bags. And this, through this blockchain, we can really certify the impact that we have in people and on the environment. And another good thing is we are the only shoe company in the world that give you the pair in a box, which is uh, recycled paper with seeds. So you take the, uh, the box, you cut it, you plant it, and you have a basil plant in a few days. Business Insider, which is a very renowned business uh, magazine and channel, YouTube channel, um, all of a sudden came to our factory in, in India. They took a video. They didn't really explain much. They said that they saw us on other media, and they left. We didn't really know what, what was happening. A few weeks later, a very important businessman called Anand Mahindra, which is the boss of Mahindra Group. They have around 260,000 employees. He's a billionaire, he's a guru, he's a philanthropist. Um, saw this video from uh, Business Insider. This video, by the way, reached 5 million views in around 48 hours. Um, he said, I'm embarrassed. I didn't know about this company. I didn't know about this idea. Um, how I can buy a pair of shoes? How?" I can be part of the next investment round. A few weeks later, the secretary came to us. Um, they said, OK, Mr. Mahindra, I want to meet you. 30 minutes, explain your idea, and let's see if it's an investable idea. So we had the Zoom call. Ashai, still with his crazy air, but the great personality, myself, Mr. Mahindra, and the assistant. It took him 30 minutes to decide to put $1.1 million in the company. 30 minutes. Now, to get the money in the bank account, this took around two years uh, because due diligence, and of course, we are a startup, it's complex. Uh, we, our contract was around 200 pages, so it was not as easy as we, uh, we thought. Now, what we do is producing 5,000 pairs of shoes a day uh, in Agra in collaboration with Bata, which is one of the five biggest producer, shoe producers in the world. Um, we have distributors in Australia, uh, in Europe, we have big, big order coming up, and we are now becoming a very uh, global uh, brand. These are a few examples, and I'm wearing one as well. So from a prototype that at that time, in 2019, cost, us, cost a shy $43, in just a few years, we were able to create a company of $10 million. So what has my story, Swiss guy, uh, not really smart, not a big doer, uh, that pop up uh, in Dubai has, a, has to do with this success story. If I was not doing the army service, I would never have changed to a silly kid to a more mature person. Understanding order, understanding um, uh, the cameratism, so create a group and relate with people in a more social uh, way. If unfortunately my mom didn't die, I would never had the chance to go and travel abroad. I would have never resigned. This, by the way, is the day that I give back my badge at the bank after almost eight years. And you see how happy I am. With that, that opportunity of studying abroad, I would never have moved to Dubai, right? I would never have met Megan. Uh, by the way, this is the picture where I propose underwater in Atlantis. Luckily for me, she was not able to say yes or no, so I, I take that for granted that she say yes. I got married here in Jebel Ali during COVID, four people, quite sad, but okay, we saved a lot of money as well. And of course, without all this silly story, I will not, never have been able to meet Ashai, that is now uh, my greatest uh, business partner. For every problem, there is a solution. For every solution, there is an idea. And for every idea, there is a startup. For every startup, there is a founder. And said that for every Ashai Bave, which was the founder, the creator of the idea, the doer, there is a Matteo Boffa like me with some money in the pocket, which doesn't have to be big money, that believes in the idea, doesn't really like to do much, but believes in people, put the money on the table, and we create something uh, together. I believe in young people. Um, I believe in everybody that can solve a problem, especially in, in the environment. And of course, 
every part of your life will lead you somewhere. You don't know maybe how and where, but of course you are the master of the destiny. Luck exists, but you can really uh, take your destiny in your hands and be one day or a shy or Matteo or somebody that you want to create a better, greener future for everybody. Thank you so much.